An Olympic berth beckons. The likes of Tonga and Samoa standing in the way of the Aussie men showing off rugby in Rio. Yeah, it's pretty massive, I guess, the opportunity to play at an Olympic Games. Um, I guess growing up as a rugby player, we never sort of thought we'd get the opportunity to do that. So, um, yeah, to be, I guess, have that chance is really exciting for the group and um, hopefully we can get there. Star man Cam Clark overcoming a hamstring injury to be back in the squad and he's already picking the brains of Wallaby winger Henry Spate. I guess you just got to look at his super rugby and Wallaby's form. Um, he's an amazing player and I think he'll be very dangerous with less people on the field. I wouldn't want to be giving him too much space. Um, yeah, definitely a big boost to our squad and really excited to have him here. The prospect of Olympic gold luring other big fish, most notably Quade Cooper. Um, I guess we'd welcome anyone, really, um, if they're going to add to the group. And, um, yeah, I assume those big names um, will definitely do that. And, um, yeah, I guess it'll be, it would be exciting to see them in a sevens jersey. Clark and coach Tim Walsh dismissing talk that the introduction of Wallaby talent will disrupt the already established sevens program. And they're not afraid of, of, uh, of the challenge of those players coming in. Um, and it basically the shoes on the other foot. It's the guys that are coming and have to prove themselves to, to whoever the new coach is, but to the rest of the players here as well. Walsh proving a cool head since joining the men's program at the end of August, while also continuing in his role as women's coach. He knows the players very well, knows our strengths and weaknesses. Um, and yeah, he's definitely been, he's taken over and done a really good job with us. Um, he's definitely taken us forward. So yeah, there's no excuses coming into this weekend, that's for sure.